What's up? It's your boy Tone. Chilling outside after work. It's a good day. You know what I mean? Brother got his work on. It's always good. But anyway, I wanna I wanna talk about uh he had some dreams I done had about hell and heaven. And uh you know, I just wanna say that well, I'm going to say a few things, but I'm going to say this. Like, people have a hard time believing that hell is real. And then, those people who believe that hell is real have a hard time, they have a hard time believing that God won't send them there because they are who they are. They think that they, as an individual, are so different from everybody else and that God is going to accept them with their problems. You are right and you're wrong. God does accept you with your problems. But you have to clean up your problems. You have to, the Bible says, be there, be holy for I am holy. Now, mind you, I am nowhere near perfect. I mean, I, I don't do anything perfect. But I strive, I, I strive with God. You know what I mean? And I got a long way to go, but I strive. Because the, the word says, God will not always strive with man. You know, and the word the word talks about hell constantly. It talks about, you know, shul. It talks about the fire. It talks about the worms. It talks about the demons. And it talks about things that can take you there, the seven deadly. I mean, most people, you know, most people go to hell from, they go from hell for lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, and a pride of life. And I have been, I have fell, I have fell into those categories. And, uh... Sometimes we're in those categories and we're not aware that we're in those categories until we start reading the start reading the Bible. That's because the the word of God is the light bring to the world. When they say light, they mean it enlightens you on what you're doing and what you should do. The Bible is not just a, a word it is not words, it's a path. It's a written it's a written path to get to heaven. It's the it's a written path on how to instruct your life in order to get in heaven. And that's it. And that's all. That is the Bible's full purpose is to teach you how to live in order to prepare to die. And like I said, I fell into these categories. I've, you know, I've done things, you know, and who knows, I might still fall in these categories, but... I, I pray every day, you know, and there's a lot of people that pray every day. Listen, there's, in the scripture, to talk about how some of the disciples, you know, were, uh, and, and some of the sins that they committed. I mean, Peter cutting the ear off, Peter denying God. He denied God to his face. Well, not to his face, but he denied God while God was still, you know, on earth. You know, Jesus said, you'll deny me three times, and he did. He cut the man's ear off. That's a sin. That's assault. I mean, come on. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, doubting Thomas, you know, just doubting Christ, you know, is a sin, you know, right there, just doubting him. I mean, there are all types of sins, and the Bible educates you on what you're doing, you know, and a lot of people don't know that what they're doing can take them straight to hell. They are not educated, and the scriptures read it, 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 it scriptures read this says, study to show yourself approved. Now I am, uh, 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 I am not the most versed in the Bible. You know, I don't know where to find some of those scriptures at. But you know, it, it they they are there. So when I come across them, I'll say the scriptures read this. But I might not be able to show you where it's at. But the scripture d does read that. Study to show yourself approved. You know, and I also said that you know in, in the scriptures that you know if you are not like any of the disciples, you will not make it into heaven. And they were saying that because all of the disciples died horrible deaths. Every single one of them. None of them lived to see old age. See, we all hope we're going to see old age, die old, and then we go to heaven. We all think because we're old, we're going to heaven. That is nowhere near the truth. You can die 99,000 years old and go straight to hell after 99,000 years. I mean, the point is, if you're not prepared to die, you know, according to the scriptures, then you're going to hell. And hell is a horrible place. It is, I've, and, and, and let me tell you some things I've seen in hell, because I've had many visions of hell, and some I can't even say, but I've had many visions of hell, and uh, uh, there are different realms in hell, and one of them 
was a realm where you're just filled with like everything foul on the earth feces diseases everything foul everything foul to man and you're covered in it and you're just covered you're just and it's dark and you, it's just horrible it's, Jesus there's another realm of hell where I had a dream where I fell off of a skyscraper and when I fell off of this skyscraper I hit the ground and I kept going my body did not stop uh, well, excuse me my spirit didn't stop my body obviously did excuse me but when it finally came to a stop I landed in a lake of fire and uh, and I mean a lake it was molten lava and fire and I was swimming in it burning up like you can't get out of it, it you, there's no way but what really got me is I mean besides the fact that I was burned out, I didn't feel that God allowed me not to feel any of it but he made sure that I knew that where I was it was dark and there's a demon with a pitchfork or something in his hand standing off to the side there were actually a couple of them but there was one large demon and he was just standing there looking at everybody burning now, I don't know if that was Satan but who cares who cares who it was who cares what the demon's name was there are many demons and there are many realms in hell there are many I mean there's so much down there it, it, it's ridiculous that it, every human ever born on earth can fit into hell and it's in earth it's in the center of the earth i mean there are over 400 miles of lava in the earth i mean just think about that every single all how many billion of 10 billion how many billion of people 40 billion or whatever we could all fit in hell and it ain't nothing and i'm telling you this because i'm warning you like i'm even telling myself this little i need to get it together like there's some things i was doing man and like some like video games now, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna tell you another vision of hell in a minute but one of the video games I was playing I stopped playing it because I had a I had a I had a really really like I stopped playing it a couple years ago and then I wanted to play it again but I knew something was wrong because I kept playing it and I used to come home after work and I played it one time I played that video game for 12 hours straight and I knew I was addicted. And that's another thing. A lot of your addictions are because you're addicted. It's because there's a spirit helping you. That whenever you feel the urge to do something, you're spiritually motivated. Now, of course, there are good urges and there are bad urges. Like, I feel the urge to go to church. That's spiritually motivated. When you feel the urge to just knock somebody upside the head, spiritually motivated. You gotta watch what, does, what spirit's doing what. There are spirits on this world. You do not. You will die. You will die. You will die and go to heaven or you will die and go to hell. So nonetheless, so spirits run this world. Don't think that they don't. They listen to everything you say, everything you do, especially when you say it out loud. Alright? So nonetheless, so video games. I was playing World of Warcraft. One of the most addicting games ever to play. And then I stopped playing and then, you know, recently I had came back to it. But when I came back to it, as soon as I logged in, I felt this spiritual presence just right, like my Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in me just, oh man, it was like something just grabbed the hold of me and was just pressing on me. And I tried to ignore it, like, ah, you know, it ain't nothing, but every time I played, I felt it. And there are spiritual elements in that game that is no joke, because they talk about death, they talk about demons, they talk about, listen, that stuff can take you straight to hell don't get it twisted it will it will anything that's addicting like that you have to watch you have to pray about you have to ask god about and it's a good chance that uh, especially if you have the holy ghost he's already telling you, even if you don't have the holy ghost god is you know he's he's warning you stop playing it so i had to chill on video games like i had to really relax on on video games and anyways so I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'm going to make a part two to this video in just a minute. I'm going to make a part two. Yeah.